nicknamed Natalia, whose birth began to heal the rift between Kobe and his parents. They would go on to have three more daughters, Gianna, Bianca, and Capri. According to Kobe, Vanessa would have loved to add a son to their household, but he was always content with his little girls. It takes a real man to make a boy. I'm like, dude, <laughs> it takes a king to make a princess. Although he did like the idea of adding a fifth child to the family so he could have his own basketball team. Although Kobe loved all of his children, he had a special relationship with Gianna, also known as Gigi. They shared a passion for basketball, and Kobe even stepped up to coach her team. The basketball gene, I've, I've completely and fully passed off to Gianna. She's got it. But for Kobe, coaching the Mambas was about a lot more than just teaching them the fundamentals of the game. We try to give them a foundation of the amount of work and preparation that it takes to be excellent in whatever it is that you choose to do. Gigi helped Kobe rediscover his passion for the sport, and he was impressed with her tenacity and competitiveness. She dreamed of someday playing college basketball for the Yukon Huskies. When they weren't practicing, they spent a lot of time watching games together. Gigi taught Kobe to enjoy watching the game not as an athlete, but as a proud father. Retiring from basketball was a massive emotional challenge for this passionate player, and his family was an important source of support. My mind can handle the grind, but my body knows it's time to say goodbye. He also figured out a way to creatively express himself by creating the animated short film, Dear Basketball. Dear Basketball, Glenn Key and Kobe! As yet another testament to his incredible talents, this movie earned him an Academy Award for Best Animated Short Film. This made him the very first professional athlete to win an Oscar. Kobe was known for going all out on the basketball court, but at home with his family, things were much more low-key. Teddy Bear at home with my family, with my kids, and enjoying that family time. Despite his fame and fortune, he made sure to personally embrace even the more mundane aspects of fatherhood like picking the kids up from school. I'm really psychotic about having that family time. But despite all the love this family shared, there was a time when Vanessa filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. This was a challenging time for the family, but apparently the differences between Kobe and Vanessa weren't irreconcilable because they later called off the divorce. Although they refused to comment on the details, Kobe shared that he and Vanessa were simply too competitive to let their marriage fail. Apparently, Gigi got that trait from her parents. Kobe and Vanessa enjoyed their privacy, but their love for their family was impossible to hide. After the tragic helicopter accident which claimed the lives of nine people, including Kobe and Gigi, fans were left reeling from the loss. Jennifer Lopez posted a beautiful family photo on Instagram and left kind words for Vanessa. LeBron James was seen in tears after learning about the accident. People expressed their pain on Instagram, Twitter, and even the Grammys. Tonight is for Kobe! He had so much hope that Gigi would carry on his legacy, which only compounds the tragedy that father and daughter perished while on their way to play their favorite sport. But although Kobe is gone, his good deeds can continue to help other people. He and his wife started the Kobe and Vanessa Bryant Family Foundation, which is dedicated to helping young people improve their lives. It provides scholarships and offers programs designed to teach athletes how to learn leadership skills through their favorite sport. The organization has also partnered with various organizations like Step Up on Second and the United Way in order to address the issue of youth homelessness. 